Lots of form factors on, on uh, 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 MIDS here, right, specifically. So I'm going to just highlight a few of these. Uh, there's a whole range of form factors here from Gemstar, Igo, Eking, NFS, BYD, a whole, whole range of products that are being announced. And there are just new products and new, new uh, uh, capabilities that are coming out on top of uh, Menlo and Atom every single day. So a year ago, we talked about what the capabilities were on top of Atom and specifically on top of Menlo. We've not been sitting still, even though the product was launched and is in production. We've continued to innovate and make Atom, the first generation, better. So let me show you a little bit of what we've been able to do. Okay? So I want to go and uh, uh, do quick, two quick demos. I'm going to use the help of these two systems. This first system that I'm using here, this is an OQO design. It's based on Atom Z series processors. It's running a 1.86 gigahertz uh, processor, and it's running Vista. This is the second system. Uh, again, it's an OQO system. If you guys, and this is running Quake 3. If you guys could put that up on the screen. By the way, obviously you wouldn't play a game at that speed, that's just a, a, a demo, but you can see here it's running right off of this, this system. It's piped into the screen, but it's running off of this system. This does fit in your pocket. That's Quake 3, and you're seeing it operational at about 20 frames per second. Um, guys, gaming in your pocket. Not just any game, PC gaming in your pocket, right? So, pretty significant capability that you're getting there uh, on Menlo, and uh, that's, all of this is production ready. Shipping now, you're going to see innovation in these areas. Expect OEMs to take advantage of the silicon in systems. Uh, the full exploitation of the silicon has not yet happened in the marketplace. Now, I want to make a couple of announcements. We haven't stopped innovating on the first generation. Today, we're announcing two new products in the uh, Atom family. The Z550, this is the first 2 gigahertz processor that will fit in your, pro in your pocket. Announced as of today. It's in production, and we expect OEMs to be in the marketplace with this product. We're also announcing the Z515, which basically you can take the 0.6 watt processor that we have and be able to burst it up uh, to peak performance so that even in a uh, very small form factor device, you get, you get the performance without sacrificing the battery life or the form factor. So that's a Z515, and we do that uh, with the Intel Burst Performance technology. Both of these products announcing in the marketplace today. Now, as part of that, we have several customers that are also announcing new products. We have iGo uh, that is launching uh, their 3 gigahertz solution as part of this uh, product family. You have eKing, Gemstar, CZC, uh, TechFaith, Dragon, several SKUs that are up here and uh, products that are up here. I'm not going to single out any particular one. Uh, BYD is also a customer of ours that is announcing a, a very cool product. And I want to highlight this one in particular. Um, I thought I'd have to wait till Morstein before I could get a phone um, utilizing our technology. And actually, it turns out that we have a product. This is a BYD uh, product. The code name for this is Mars. And um, this, this, the, the front of it, what I'm showing you, is a phone based on Atom. Uh, this is running in the tech showcase. If you want to see an operational model, uh, go take a look at the tech showcase. Now, the beauty of this is it's not just a phone. Anybody can do a phone. But a phone that actually runs full Windows PC is kind of neat, right? And this one runs a full Windows XP in, in, in your pocket, right? And like I said, this was sitting in my pocket all this time. So that's from BYD. You can see this in the uh, demo showcase as an operational system. So a ton of innovation yet to happen in the marketplace. Uh, a lot of excitement taking place here.